Hey guys, uh, you know, most people know that my wife and I are huge pit bull advocates, pit bull owners, pit bull rescuers. We love the breed, so I just want to share five pit bull myths with all of you. I know there are a lot of myth uh, lists out there, so uh, this is just a, a quick one of mine. Uh, these are some five uh, myths that seem to always circulate on the internet uh, and by pit bull haters, so I figured I'll, uh, I'll run through them with you. is the most dangerous dog. Hmm. Well, I think not. According to the American Temperament Test Society, you know, they do testing and temperament and behavior assessments and testing on all the breeds there are. Pit bulls consistently score higher. Take a quick look. Moreover, the pit bull is the most tested breed of dog. And now when I say pit bull, you know, I'm talking about the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier. Yes, I understand there are about four or five other breeds of dogs that the public, and, you know, call Pit Bulls. But for the sake of the testing here, I just want to show you the, the Pit Bull and the Anstaff. You know, they score higher than most other breeds tested. And, you know, there's a couple other breeds in there. Obviously, the Chihuahua scores lower than, than the Pit Bull. <laughs> Number two. There's no such breed called a Pit Bull. Oh my God, this drives me up a wall. You know why? Because pit bull advocates, like people who are promoting pit bulls in a positive light, that's like one of the first things that comes out of their mouths. And it drives me up a wall. I hate to get a little passionate here, but if you're a pit bull advocate and the first thing out of your mouth is there's no such breed called a pit bull, oh my God, like the best defense we have as, as, as promoting our breed is knowledge and information. And if the first words out of your mouth is a falsehood, I mean, that just doesn't bode well. There is absolutely a breed called the Pit Bull. It's the American Pit Bull Terrier. It was first introduced into the United States in 1898, okay? There is a breed called the Pit Bull. Now, where does this myth come from, okay? It comes from legislatures and the public's perception of Pit Bull, right? A Pit Bull is basically a large, powerful, blocky head, muscular dog. That's basically what they think a pit bull is. But there is an actual breed called the American Pit Bull Terrier, okay? So all my friendly advocates out there, please stop saying there's no such breed as a pit bull. You sound silly, and it doesn't do anything for our cause of promoting our breed in a, pro in a positive light. There is absolutely a breed and has a long-standing history in the United States, a good history at that, okay? I don't want to beat a dead horse, but it does drive me nuts. Number three. Pit bulls bite more than any other breed. Ay, 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 another one, okay? Now, here we're gonna talk about the public's perception of what a pit bull is and pit bulls, statistically speaking, right? I just talked about that pit bull is a breed, right? We, you know, we got that straightened out. Now, when it comes to dog bite statistics and legislative, you know, uh, procedures and, and uh, you know, lawmakers and all that kind of crap, right, they, break down the pit bull like this. And we'll talk about dog bites, right? Because that is a, a statistic that all the pit bull haters love to clasp onto, okay? So, when they categorize dog bite statistics, they categorize them by breed, okay? So if you have a Labrador that bites someone, it's classified as a Labrador bite. If a German Shepherd bites someone, it's classified as a German Shepherd bite. Uh, if a lab mixed with a German Shepherd bites somebody, it's classified as a mixed breed bite. If a German Shorthaired Pointer mixed with a Collie bites someone, it's classified as a mixed breed dog bite. See where this is going? If an American Pit Bull Terrier bites someone, it's classified as a Pit Bull bite. If an American Pit Bull Terrier mixed with any of the other 340 plus breeds of dogs there are, bites someone, it's classified as a pit bull bite also, not a mixed breed bite. That all the other breeds of dogs, you know, would be classified after they were mixed together, they would be classified as mixed breed bites. So statistics are highly biased, and the chart that, you know, that I showed you, that is from an anti-pit bull website. And, you know, it, it's clear that the bite statistics are so skewed and so biased, it's not even funny. So let's take another look at the, these bite statistics. These are fatalities 
by dogs from I think 2018, could be 2017, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, you see the, the first line, it says pit bulls, 26 pit bulls are responsible for, for dog fatalities. Uh, and then it goes down the list. Uh, the second grouping is mixed breeds, right? So the problem is, is that the first grouping, the pit bulls that killed 26 people, that could be an American Pit Bull Terrier, it could be an American Staffordshire Terrier, it could be an American Bulldog, it could be a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, it could be an Old English Bulldog, uh, it could be a Pit Bull or any of the breeds I just mentioned mixed with any of the other 340 plus breeds would all be considered a Pit Bull bike. Yet, every other breed that is mixed with another breed and bites someone and kills or, or injures and is classified as a bite is put into the mixed breed category. I mean, it's just, it's crazy how, how biased and skewed that entire statistical calculation is. Number four, pit bulls are inherently dangerous. Well, let's take a look at this picture. I'm a trainer, I specialize in behavior, so I don't get to meet all the best dogs walking on the face of this earth, right? And regardless of breed, people come to me with behavioral problems. They don't come to me with wonderful dogs. I can tell you this though, the most balanced dog I work with is the American Pitbull Terrier or Pitbull Mix. The easiest dog to train, in my experience, has been Pitbulls, okay? Uh, you know, as far as them being inherently dangerous, it, it's a crock of hooey. It really is, okay? Now, keep in mind, they are terriers. Their ancestry, it's a terrier ancestry. So they do have that drive like Jack Russell Terriers, rat terriers, you know, all, all the, the ratting, small vermin type animals, they have that kind of drive in them. So, you know, there is some level, there is some level of, you know, accuracy to that statement as it relates to, to prey and, and things like that. But it has nothing to do with their balance and their behavior overall. I mean, there's millions of pit bulls coexisting peacefully in this country, okay? There really is. You know, so they're not inherently aggressive. And I'll, I'll give you a statistic to prove that, okay? You know, we all know that, you know, the, the bite statistics are skewed and whatnot and all this other kind of stuff, right? So, last year, about four and a half million pit bulls did absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing. Four, that's, about how, that's about how many pit bulls are owned in the country, about four and a half million in the, in the United States. About four and a half million of them did absolutely nothing wrong, okay? Number five. Oh, I love this one. Pit bulls turn on their owners. <clears throat> that's what I think of that, okay? First of all, I get this a lot from, you know, being in the dog training arena and the rescue world, right? Oh, my dog just turned on me, okay? Sadly, humans are morons. I'm sorry, right? Dogs just don't turn on their owners. Now, granted, there are medical reasons or health reasons where an erratic behavior can crop up. But generally speaking, uh, the behavior of dogs declines over time. I shouldn't say declines. Changes over time. Right? And it's only till something severe happens that the owner even recognizes the changes in behavior because we don't pay attention to our dogs. It's ridiculous. I mean, there are signs all along the way when a dog's behavior is starting to shift and change. And then all of a sudden something dramatic or drastic happens and owners say, oh, my dog turned on me, okay? It's false. It's false for dogs in general and it's absolutely false for pit bulls. It, it, just the way it is, I'm sorry. Well, this was my quick little five pit bull myths list. Uh, I'll, I'll, throw a, I'll throw a link uh, down below on my website. You can check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And uh, finally, I just want to say thank you to everyone for subscribing and commenting. You know, I, I just, I love interacting with you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, again, I, I promise I'm coming out on my schedule soon, but it looks like I'm going to have about a three to five day a week uh, upload of content and I'm going to break it down. I have a few different segments I'm going to be doing. So anyway, I'll shut up. See you later.